Hey guys, what's up? It's Moses here at the Driver Success Channel. So, um, bear with me. I'm here. I'm getting ready to take a nap. Today is my day off, and um, by the time I get to my day off, I'm really tired. Um, uh, this being a new job, um, the kind of work that we do, and really, I think what really wears me out is um, the heat. It's really uh, very hot here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Not only is it hot, but it's also humid. So when you you get out and you are uh, doing something outside, it can be really um, um, the heat can really uh, take a toll on you. So my body is trying to get used to uh, the work environment here. And so uh, my schedule currently is uh, five days a week. I work from Tuesday to Saturday. Uh, but by the time I'm done with my week, I'm really uh, tired. My schedule is usually about 12 hours a day. And um, it's, it, it's been a learning curve for me. So I'm trying to get used to uh, figuring out where every staff is, customers, uh, someone who is new to the area, I have to figure out how to get around, um, uh, uh, getting around, you know, like freeways, roads, uh, and all that stuff, getting used to how people drive here. People drive here <laughs> in a very, very funny way. So it's a learning curve on my part, and so I guess uh, because of that, um, you know, it it almost feels like I'm just starting again driving trucks, but um, it's a learning curve, so I understand that it's going to take time uh, for me to get uh, my groove back, you know, uh, where everything is kind of like I know what I'm doing. But what I wanted to do today is just kind of, I know from the last video, mm -hmm. you already know that I work for JB Hunt, and you already know I've gone through my orientation, I'm already you know, um, uh, by myself. But I wanted to go back and just kind of uh, let you know how my orientation was in hopes that it can help somebody else in case you are thinking of JB Hunt, uh, give you an idea of what to expect. First and foremost, the thing you have to know about JB Hunt, uh, I think from my understanding, they have about uh, three main well, it may be more than three, but you have to, uh, you think about, they have what they call, I think they call it truck load, which would be regarded as over the road. <coughs> and then they have the intermodal division, which is what I work uh, with, where you're just pulling stuff out of the rail to customers and then from customers into the rail. And then they have the dedicated where you're, you're just dedicated to a particular customer. Those are the three main, I think the, those are the three main areas, I would say. I know for sure they also have, I think they call it last mile, something like that. Um, I've seen it on the website where they have, um, I think it's last mile, uh, where they have people who who deliver to customers, and this can also be like class B uh, drivers. I don't know if they would also hire anyone with a class C, but they drive, you know, like the small, small trucks. So that is something that you may want to look into. But as I've said, I work for the uh, intermodal division and that's what I can really uh, give you an idea of what to expect of, or of how the orientation was or how things are. Uh, I'm sure um, most of the information you may want about JB Hunt you can find on uh, the website or if you see a JB Hunt driver you can ask them. Um, but I'll be sharing with you my experiences with Intermodal and any other thing that I may learn about other areas as we go along. Um, so with, uh, with me, orientation, uh, I'm out of at the Haslet Yard here in Dallas, in Fort Worth area. Uh, there is a city called Haslet and they, there is a, a rail yard in Haslet. 
so that terminal is right close by that rail yard um, and uh, the orientation here was three days <coughs> with an extra day just dedicated for intermodal uh, training so for the three days the way it was supposed to go um, when we got there the very first day our orientation was beginning at seven o'clock most of us were local drivers which meant we really didn't have anyone you know like using the hotel we all were driving from home um i know if you are in other areas they would and maybe you are far from home they would get you a hotel and then you would be uh, um, getting a shuttle from the hotel to the orientation site but our orientation would begin at seven o'clock when we got there the person that was doing the orientation came from dallas uh, there is a terminal in dallas and he told us we would probably be done by maybe the second day it was going to take about two days he was going to try to get us out by the end of the second day if not probably uh second two and a half days but that didn't work out as he had planned or expected we were six people in the orientation um uh, when we did the orientation so the first day what happened is the first thing you do is you have to go through the application the application that you did when you when you applied um, is the application that you go through you just go on the computer uh, just to make sure that all the information that was input was correct if not then you have you know like uh, to contact um, somebody um, to just adjust whatever adjustments need to be made to make sure your application is correct so that's the first thing you you do just take care of the uh, application to make sure your information is uh, is correct then from there the thing you're supposed to do next the main thing is supposed to be the drug and physical tests and that's what messed us up because haslet is a small it's a big yard but a small site for them i guess uh, they usually don't have i think orientation because the guy said that was the first either it was the first or second time that he had been there to do orientation specifically for us as uh, intermodal drivers i think before people would go to dallas for orientation but now they were trying to uh, he was the one that was coming here to do the orientation for us and i think either we were the first people or we were the second group i don't remember exactly but because of that what they have is they they had us go uh, to do the drug and physical test to a site um i think i forget the name of that place called concetra i think it's concetra so we had to go there to do the um the drug and physical test and that's where we got messed up because we got there like at 10 a.m and we left that place at 5 p.m because they were not it looks like they were not ready for us uh we were just six of us but i don't know what went wrong but i mean we were there and we were tired uh the guy who was doing the orientation had to bring our lunch to us while we were there waiting that's what really messed us up so the first day all we were we really did was um the drug and physical and um by the end of that day we lost two of of the people to again to high blood pressure uh they told them they had to wait for i, I think like maybe 30 or 60 days before they could reapply but that meant that the, the class now had um, dropped from six people to four people so from there the second day uh, again we just came in we are doing things to do with the uh, company telling us about the company policies and all the other stuff that we need to do it was a mixture of computer work not really a lot of computer work things we are doing on on our comp on the computer were maybe to do with benefits and whatever information we needed to update and then um, just um, telling us about the company and seeing different videos and all that stuff and then 
at the end of the day we did the Smith system. I don't know if you guys know about the Smith systems. I know some companies offer that and some companies don't. But the Smith system is just um, like a defensive driving course. So you do that and then they have to take you on the road. Um, you don't use the trucks. You just use small cars. You go out on the road uh, with an instructor and then they show you how, how the Smith system works. And then you have to also drive and kind of uh, do what the instructor was doing, uh, you know, like showing uh, them that you you are really watching yourself and you are driving defensively. I think it's an in interesting um, uh, interesting system and something that can help you if you learn to use it and learn to apply it. It is something that is really, really, um, um, I think something that can help you in um, in improving your driving so for the last day the last day we just did some final touches uh, you know like to do again with uh, some videos and company policies and then we did um, we did a conference call um, like with the COO of JB Hunt I forget what his name is I think it's Hamper something hamper i think i hope i have his name right anyway we did a call with him uh he just for him to welcome us to the uh, company i think uh it's a call where all the other people that are going through orientation i think just call into and and he he just work he, he welcomes people to the uh to the company and then at the end of that um that day we did a road test uh, somewhere around lunchtime, after we had lunch, I think, we did the road test. And uh, we lost one more person uh, because of the road test. They couldn't really uh, back up well. Uh, they were used to driving as a team, husband, wife team. And I guess most of the time the husband was doing the backing. So uh, this particular lady couldn't really, uh, she had a problem backing up, so she was good at driving and everything, but backing up was the problem. So we ended up losing her. So three of us uh, were the ones that uh, ended up going through the whole process at the end of the day. I guess that goes to say if you are driving as a team or if you're out there uh, with a trainer, uh, just make sure that you get... Um, you get you know like your training on everything i uh, don't just get into the habit of just maybe avoiding backing because you never know when you may need it um so that was the end of orientation um that's when they sign you up i mean they sign you off and then the following day no actually i think orientation was done one week and then the follow no it was the following day yeah because it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Thursday, we came back uh, for the fourth day, but this wasn't orientation per se. It was a specific training for intermodal drivers because we were all going to be driving as intermodal drivers. So uh, we had a day of just training about the rail and then um, telling us about um, the chassis and containers and all that stuff. And that's when they also assigned us to trainers, people that we are, we are going to go out on the road for training as we started work. Uh, you have two days of training or more. If after two days with a trainer you feel like you still want to, to go out with a trainer, you can request for that and it can take as long as you want. If you want it to be for a week, two weeks, that's up to you until you and the trainer really feel that you are good to go um, you can request for as many days as you want uh, then during that training uh, that's when uh, we got assigned our schedules and our trucks they also sign your parking uh, spot like when you park your truck uh, where you park your truck is where you park your car so uh, they give you your schedule they assign you your truck and then um, whatever stuff needs to be done, like, um, um, you know, like getting your uniforms. I didn't get my uniforms because they didn't have any in stock. 
so those are supposed to be ordered but generally speaking that's how um, the orientation process goes uh, it's a three-day orientation for us as intermodal drivers we have an ex we had an extra day and then they assign you to a trainer the other thing I'll say also for intermodal, they have both local and regional driving positions. And I guess that goes also for um, maybe the dedicated uh, part. Most of the, uh, of the, most of the positions, JB Hunt has uh, positions to do with intermodal and, I mean, positions to do with local and regional driving. So most of the time, uh, most of their jobs, you should be home at least uh, maybe on the weekends or uh, you should be home every maybe five or six days, most of the jobs, unless you want to stay out on the road. So I hope that helps uh, anyone out there that is interested in JB Hunt or joining or you have questions. Again, um, I'll be doing my best to to just show you and share with you the things that are happening here at JB Hunt as I get to know uh, JB Hunt more and more and as I uh, as I go through my work I'll share with you things but I just wanted to share with you today how the orientation was and the process that you may have to go through it's a simple process you do the application and then after that you go for orientation if you go through the orientation they put you with a, um, a trainer then after that you are on your own and um, but that doesn't mean you can't ask questions you can always ask questions as you go all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye